Hello friends. The story of these boys is unusual, because they ended up in an orphanage with a living mother. She sent them there in a very unusual way so that they are still afraid of traveling by bus. The birth of the twins was not a conscious move for the boy's biological mother. An exuberant headwind and a free-spirited college life are the reasons why they were born. John and Michael's mom's young man never took part in her son's lives. Once they came into the world, he immediately stopped being interested in the girl. Raising children was not easy, but at first the mother even tried to cope with it. She had some help from her parents. But one day they were gone. That's when the young woman realized it was time to get rid of the children. One day, mom promised John and Michael a trip to an amusement park. The kids happily agreed. There was no sign of trouble, but it happened. Mom put the boys on the bus and said she would meet them when they arrived at their destination. The bus arrived at the final stop, but no one was waiting for the children there. They tried to find their mom, only all to no avail. John and Michael were scared. Then adults who happened to be nearby took responsibility for the children. The conductor, realizing what was going on, called the police. The police arrived on the scene quickly, took the children and began the proceedings. But it was all for nothing. The birth mother was found, but she showed up and honestly admitted that she could not provide for the children. She said they'd be better off in an orphanage. She did. That's how John and Michael ended up in the orphanage. The orphanage was a real ordeal for the brothers. They weren't even seven years old when they got there. John and Michael's schooling began within the walls of the orphanage. The rules there were strict, often everything was not enough. Because of their poor grades, they had to go without food. The children faded before their eyes. It is not easy to remain cheerful and cheerful in such gloomy conditions. The situation was exacerbated by the fact that they had been abandoned by their nearest and dearest. The boys were well aware of that. Suddenly, adults intervened in the children's fate. The Miller family was found, who wanted to adopt the boys. There were already three birth children in the family. The couple dreamed of having a fourth child, but it just wasn't working out. Eventually, they decided to adopt. That way they'd have a child and give happiness to a child without love. When the Millers arrived at the orphanage, they were shown John and Michael. The sons were not confused, they immediately asked to be taken in. They couldn't help but be touched. The Millers didn't expect to become parents of two children at once, but when they looked at the boys, they realized they had to make up their minds. They didn't believe they could handle the new responsibilities, but decided to take the risk. John and Michael had a real, loving family. They began to live their lives in a new way, only occasionally remembering the problems they had to endure before. The first nights in the new family were spent with flashlights on. The Millers never hid the fact that life with adopted children wasn't as easy as they wanted it to be. Sergey, the father of the family, recalls with horror how difficult it was to persuade the boys to change into pajamas before going to bed. The first nights were restless. The boys would sit on the bed with flashlights and spend hours like that. Only sometimes they'd fall asleep for a little while. Yeah. It wasn't long before we started having trouble at school. John and Michael had to catch up with the program to keep up with the average high school student. There were scandals, difficulties. One question that worried the boys the most was whether their new mom and dad would leave them on the street like they once did. John and Michael believed in love. Now they dream of the future. Patience and benevolence of parents changed the boys. Gradually they caught up with the school program, found hobbies, began to play sports. The boys made friends, including the native children of their new parents. They felt that they were loved and cared for. New desires, dreams, and plans for the future began to emerge. If John is still deciding on his future profession, Michael has firmly decided that he will become a pilot. You never know what's next for a child in adulthood. Fate is fickle. One day it takes everything from children, the next day it gives them more. What do you think? Did John and Michael's birth mother do the right thing in avoiding hardship by abandoning her children? Give us your independent opinion on this in the comments below this video. It will be very interesting to know it. Thanks in advance. What do you think of this story? Do you know of any similar cases in your life? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments below this video. Friends, support the channel by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episodes on the channel. Bye.